Hey guys, Suzanne here. Um, I'm just here to show you a quick um, shopping haul. I was in getting um, my prescription and, and next door to the pharmacy is a um, an op shop, a Vinnie's thrift shop. So um, I went in there and I got this absolutely gorgeous, it's actually a Duna cover with a really high quality um, um, cotton, it's beautiful. And I just love that because I just love lilies, but I think that's really pretty too. Um, I was actually thinking because for my block of the month, um, I would really love to do a hummingbird, and I think a hummingbird flying into that would absolutely be beautiful. So that would be an awesome background. I can do a bit of stitching and all that kind of stuff on there. So that's a perfect size, and. Um, and it's high quality cotton. It's not as thick as some of the other backing material that I have, but it's just so beautiful. And I thought I'm going to integrate that into it. How gorgeous is that? I could not pass it up. So every now and again, you can find some really good fabrics in with the um, the bedding and the sheeting and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I saw that and I'm like, I've got to get it. How gorgeous is that? Very happy with it. That was an awesome find. Oh, love lilies and that I think it's a leaf and the butterflies are rather gorgeous too so I've got quite a bit of that very happy um, okay let's put that down then I might sit down staying up um, I got this for my sister who um, really loves like it was only a couple of dollars um, she really likes snow um, snowman and then this is a nice ABC um, embroidery so I thought I might get that for her that was really cool and while I was in the pharmacy too I got jelly beans so I've been munching on them um, then what else did I get I got this oh, beautiful I just love it so I'm gonna be individually cutting these out um, you know, it's quite obvious it's his handmade, but the colours are beautiful. Really nice. So, one, two, three, six. You've got the six pieces, so I might cut out that, including the green. If we cut these bits off and we've got ourselves little flowers, just don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but um, yeah, beautiful. Very, very nice. Then, what else did I get? I got this. And the reason why I got that is if you remember these that I got a while back, and I think I'm gonna be umming and ahhing to do a video to make you can turn little bits and pieces like that into pin cushions. And um, it's got a little bird on there that's really cute, but these are the two silver things. Um, and so I just think it's really cute. Sometimes you can find the 1950s style. Thing and by the time you put a little bit of fabric and all that so I'm probably gonna do either this one or the next one is going to be making and turning them into pin cushions then this is wasn't from this haul but my husband come home with this Royal Albert Bone China England is a I love the box the box is awesome um, the roses what's it called Con old country roses thimble so this is the one my mum had and, then, oh, and now there's that one so that's really cool so um, I'm not really a collector of thimbles but I think it's the box that appeals to me and that one I'm keeping for sentimental reasons because it was my mum's from Avon but um, yeah I really like the box I think it's really cute so now and then last but not least I got this and it's a little kit I might open that might be a project that I do so I'm going to be doing the pin cushions and I was thinking I might um, create this as well because it's sort of that, like that old style um it's almost got the 
you know the slow stitching look about it I mean I don't particularly like the eyes I think they look awful uh, but I will probably you know do a French knot or something like that on the eyes but I like everything else in the way it's got Elizabeth something 1844 because that's what they used to do um, do these old sample things so oh, there you go it's bigger than what I thought so you can still have that but the the eye I might make a little bit different and then you put little buttons and then this is a fly stitch but it has got, oh, it's even got an envelope oh there you go envelope to put your instructions French knots oh here we go little bits that you can cut out so that was a pretty good find folk birds someone's obviously oh this even comes with um, extra bits and pieces not 1999 I thought it was in the 90s because it was very very country I do like the colors though this fabric is really nice. Oh, more in there. So there you go. That's probably for the eye. That's for the that part there. Back. Oh, there you go. I might make. I think it would probably be really nice. Um, combining. I love this sort of stuff, but having um, you know doing the ABCs. So maybe I can do an ABC on the bottom of it but I don't think there'll be enough nice fabric might be let's look so there you go that's pretty good you can find a good kit in there do the birds I could probably just do some ABC on the bottom I really like it so um, get out my light box and maybe trace that and um, make that into a little project there you go every now and again you find some bargains in the thrift shop I love this fabric beautiful really nice and this looks like there might be a fat cord up by the looks of it by Holly Taylor oh here we go I'll put, put that on one of my tags that I make so might be a little bit of a project that I do in between uh, my other stuff and rather than having it I think they look like they've done blanket stitch and all that kind of stuff I might make it a bit more slow stitchy like I've done mine um, yeah so I'll just do you know Susanna Easdale and um, find a nice font and maybe do the alphabet because I've wanted to do an alphabet sample for a while and this sort of lends itself to it I don't know if you can see it properly there we go but yeah I don't really like it look, it looks like it's dead you know how they do the cross on the thing where the eyes looks a bit dead so I'll, I'll probably do it that a little bit different but I like it okay so there you go my awesome haul and I'll um, probably catch you in the very next video either start on this or make make some pin cushions so they'll be either or of what I do that's cool that's got that in there too everything's done for you okay guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one when I actually do some stitching <laughs> bye